Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, June 11, 2012. It's a lot to cover, so let's jump right into the charts here. First, we're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You will see that the futures are trading higher by $5.25. Now, in the overnight session, futures were much, much higher. You could see how futures were trading as high as, uh, I believe, 1348 and now trading down all the way down to the 1334 level. But nonetheless, they are still positive, up five and a half points at the moment. Uh, once again, there's a Spanish bailout coming, 100 billion euros given to the Spanish banks. Uh, that is what is said to be done here. So this is going to um, at least buy some time for the Spanish banks, but ultimately, um, it is not a good thing because Italy is next, France is after that, and you still have to worry about Greece, Por Portugal, Ireland, Belgium, uh, Lithuania, the countries and the list goes on and on. But in any case, Spain was able to secure a hundred billion dollar euro uh, European aid package to uh, recapitalize the banks, and we'll just see how it works out from there. But uh, one thing you want to watch for is those futures have come down keep an eye on the US dollar index if you take a look at the US dollar index you're gonna see that the dollar has been flying overnight sharply higher it is still negative by 29 cents but well off the lows and as the dollar started to come off the lows the futures came off the highs so it's gonna be very very important to keep an eye on the dollar dollar goes down the futures most likely will inflate and go higher if the dollar moves higher the futures will deflate and move lower that's just the way it works right now Every trade, in essence, is a trade on the U.S. dollar index. All right, a couple of other things to look over real quick. Um, let's talk about gold and oil. First thing you'll notice here is gold is trading up by $3 to $15.95. Not a big move in gold, but let's take a look at the GLD today. GLD trading at $154.70, closed at $154.73 on Friday. So no real reaction in the GLD. Spot gold is up $3 an ounce. Um, nothing big, nothing major there. Gold is not telling us there's a lot of inflation coming into the market right now. At least that's what it's telling me. Let's take a look at oil. Oil today is a little bit of a different story. Crude is up. Light sweet crude is trading higher by a dollar to 85.09 a barrel. Let's take a look at the USO. USO today is trading at 32.06, closed at 31.80. So a nice little uptick for USO, but again, if that dollar starts to rally, that's going to put pressure on USO. USO will come down. If the dollar starts to fall, I think the USO is poised to move up a little bit higher, and that ultimately would give um, the that would give uh, oil a little bit more uh, of an upside bias. But it all depends on the dollar. You have to watch the dollar very closely, and that would tell you everything that should happen or is going to happen depending on the pattern made on the charts. Let's take a look here at a few other things today uh, before we look at some stocks. I want to talk quickly about um, the Asian markets last night. It looks like the Shanghai index was up decently. Um, looks like it was up 1% last night. That's a nice little move for the Shanghai index. So if the U.S. markets are strong today, um, watch the Shanghai index or the uh, a Chinese ADRs, I should say, as they could be in play today. I like to take a look at Baidu every morning as a, a good proxy for the Chinese ADRs. This is probably the most important stock. And you can see it's holding steady today, trading at 123.90, closed at 121.31 uh, on Friday. So it's holding in there. It's, it's up decently. And um, Again, if the U.S. market's strong, Chinese ADRs have a chance to move a little bit higher, but I don't see anything all that great um, in them at the moment. Uh, also coming out of Asia last night, um, the Sensex was down, uh, I believe, three-tenths of one percent. Australia was also lower, and when you look at Australia being lower, that usually has something to do with base metals or commodities in general. A lot of the metals and uh, the base metals will really control control the Australian market. The Nikkei was up almost 2%, and you had the Hang Seng up 2.4%. So decent move out of um, most of Asia last night, with the exception of uh, India and Australia. So again, keep that on watch. Again, uh, we'll just see how this market plays out. We don't want to take anything for granted. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are in the news today. We'll talk about Nokia quick. I never really bring up Nokia since it's such a low-priced stock. 
But um, there's rumors out there they're going to get bought out by Samsung. I highly doubt it. But um, hey, you never know. Stock was um, dropping around a little bit. Right now it's trading at $2.96 per share. Um, there's nothing really here. So it looks like it's more rumor than anything. Remember, this is the start of options expiration. Options expiration will be on Friday. So this is a notorious uh, time of the month to hear a lot of rumors. Um, but right now, Nokia is trading right around 296. Um, closed on Friday at 302, so two dollars and ninety-six cents at the moment. I, I really doubt that rumor that Samsung wants to buy them. But hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Apple is trading up this morning, uh, trading at 586, uh, 587. Make it at the moment. So Apple is trading up a little bit uh, this morning. It looks like Apple is starting there. Um, annual worldwide developers conference that will begin today so uh, you'll get some you know a speech out of uh, CEO Tim Cook and we'll just see where the where the stock goes um, good little move for Apple I mean maybe has a little bit more upside the stocks hanging in there at the moment uh, and it's still one of the stronger stocks out there so maybe the stock has a little bit more upside I'm not loving it here but um, you know you can't rule out a move up to Five ninety-eight, five six hundred dollar level. I mean, that's just typical for a big, big stock like this. Um, let's take a look at NTAP today. This stock got upgraded this morning. Um, nice little pop there, trading at thirty-one twenty-eight. Uh, again, it looks like a pretty strong gap up, so decent little move. I don't know if the stock can get above the thirty-four dollar level. Until it can do that, I'm really suspect of the stock at the moment. It is in a downtrend on a daily chart, so it's getting a little bit of a pop this morning, but really it, it's nothing convincing, and um, there's really no conviction on that move, at least at the moment. So be a little bit careful with NTAP right now. I would not be looking to jump on board at right now. Let's take a look at uh, this NOIZ. It looks like this stock um, is being taken over today, Micronetics. So decent little pop. Look at this thing. It was at seven bucks on Friday. Now trading at fourteen dollars and fifty-five cents. If you own it, congratulations. Take profits. If you don't own it, there's nothing to do here. It's a takeover. Um, just leave it alone. Stock is done for now. Um, let's take a look at this INMD. This is another one trading at eleven dollars on Friday. Now at thirteen eighty. Um, this is another one that is going private. This, this stock, I believe, is taken, getting taken over by a private equity group. But either way, there's nothing to do here if you own it. Congratulations, you sell it. If you do not own it, do not chase it. Do not do anything. There's no reason to jump on board now. The trade is over. Um, let's take a look at FRX. This is Forest Labs. This stock is getting hit a little bit this morning. Um, it's coming from a high point, so it does have probably momentum in my opinion down to the 3325 level so you gotta watch that area first so I'd watch 3325 let me give you some different levels here but it looks like the stock is getting hit on some news um, I would check the news out I really didn't have enough time to look at it this morning but um, I would watch 3325 and then I would watch 3216 and 3130 then all the way down to thirty dollars and thirty four cents there could be some support levels in on each of those um, areas that I mentioned however um, this is a strong gap down so if these markets are weak a lot of times strong stocks can that are, are now weak stocks can really break lower so be a little bit careful there but um, Forest Labs is going to be a strong gap down but watch those levels that I gave you um, they could see com some quick bounces at those in those areas and I think that's about it on my charts today. There's some other things out there moving a little bit, but nothing um, worth mentioning. So we'll leave it alone. We'll leave it um, at this. It is a Monday. We'll see how the markets react. Again, futures are up five points at the moment, but um, it's options expiration. Expect a lot of rumors. Expect for wild whips throughout the entire trading week. That's normally what you see. That's normally what you get uh, going into an options expiration Friday, which is... Um, this month it is going to be on the 15th of June. So we'll leave it there. Have a great trading day, everybody, and we will see you on the charts tomorrow. Take care now.